Right. Crab. Yeah. Crab is, is the sign of what? Sign. Right. Okay. That one's pretty easy. They, they kind of left that one open there. It didn't make it too tough to, to grasp it. Okay. That's all the, it, it, it isn't that much information given uh, by each sign, it, and, and it was the intent of the authors to do likewise, to offer a sample, a hint. Uh, uh, they, they didn't offer a delineation of these 12 signs. Cancer is not only the uh, symbol of the mother, but it's also the symbol of security, of wealth, of banks, and the interesting factor about cancer, it carries its home on its back. And the other very interesting factor is that its stomach, its teeth are in its stomach. Okay. And if you know any Cancerians, they always have problems with their stomachs. They always have problems with the stomach. And they love food. A kind of a special attachment to the things of security. They love money, home, and food. Yeah. In, 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 almost in that order. Money first. And you, I, I don't know how many cancers you know, but you'll never find a broke cancer. If he had a dollar Monday, he'll have 75 cent Tuesday. You can bet it. Yeah. And if he ain't got no money in his pocket, well, look at his shoe. <laughs> Huh? Because he don't want to spend his. He spend yours first. Then if he can't, if he can't get yours, then he'll spend his. But but he ain't broke. He make damn sure. I, he's a one of them. You know what? Yeah. He said that too. Yeah. I, I ain't really broke. I was just saying. That, that, that's right. <laughs> yeah. They they, they 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 ain't gonna spend all their money. One of my little little cousins by distant relationship uh, got separated from his mother. And ended up staying with us for a week. And this little boy sat there and ate breakfast. And he'd eat a little bit. Then he'd put his hand in his pocket. And he'd eat a little bit. And he'd put his hand in his pocket. That's right. S save it for tomorrow. Well, he'd been hungry two or three days. You know? And one thing that they, they, they don't like is being hungry. Being broke and being without a home. You know, those things that really... They really work hard to, to secure. Yeah. Yeah. But they have a tremendous uh, attachment to those three things. They can draw money. They can draw people with money. They know how to make money. You know, they, they make great partners if they're honest. You know, they, they, they make great crooks if they're not. You know, they, they can go either way. You know, depending on which way the money's coming. You know? yeah. But they, 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 they're attuned to security. Uh, I don't want to make them sound like natural gangsters, but uh, there's a lot of them in jail, I tell you that. <laughs> okay. Issachar, now this is one of the most interesting ones that I've found, and I, I love this because I, I appreciate what the Spirit gave me in relationship to Issachar. Go to, back to Genesis chapter 49. Verse 14. Read there. Genesis 49, 14. Mm -hmm. Issachar is a strong donkey lying down between the sheep holes. Okay. That, 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 is that, that's all it says, isn't it? That's it? Yeah, not, not, not much. Except it gives you the whole glyph. Of Issachar. He's a strong what? <laughs> this one never became an astrological sign.
Okay, now we turn to Deuteronomy. Turn to Deuteronomy. I just turned to it very simply the time before. You got it? Okay. Hold on just a second here. I think I'm going to have to go back to, uh, you sure you read all of Jen? That's all he gave me. Okay, let, let me, let me go back here to Genesis 49. Issachar is a strong ass couching down between two burdens, and he saw that rest was good, and the land that it was pleasant and bowed his shoulder to bear, and became a servant unto tribute. Okay, and it goes into 15. Yeah, yeah, verse 15, okay. So it says, Issachar is a strong donkey, laying down between the sheepfolds. When he saw that a resting place was good, and that the land was pleasant, he bowed his shoulder to bear burdens, and became a slave at forced labor. Okay. But that's that's the donkey, right? What is it that the donkey carried his burden in? It, it well, first of all, it, it it actually it came across the back like this. They were carrying bags or mantles, okay. That's what you have here, why you have this glyph okay. for Libra. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's the donkey bearing burdens. Okay. And the, the, the donkey goes down on the front legs so that this apparatus can be placed around its neck or its back. It's made like this glyph, okay? <clears throat> that otherwise, this doesn't that have any astrological significance whatsoever. Okay? There, there's no Greek-Latin character structured like this, okay? It, it doesn't mean balance, okay? It's in reference to this particular apparatus that the, the donkey would carry, okay? The key here, in terms of figuring it out, is that there are 12 animals, okay? This does not represent an animal. Libra is not a person. Okay? It, it's only given as a glyph. Okay? But in terms of constellation, there are 12 animals in the sky. That's what zodiac means, or zoar in the Hebrew, 12 animals. Okay? So uh, Libra becomes the other animal for the ram, uh, Aries. Remember that they are gathered... How do they come into the ark? Two by two. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that, 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 that's, that's the other key that fits into this display of the donkey or the ass uh, as Libra, which is not given in astrology symbology, but in biblical symbology. Okay. Okay. Dan is the next one. This is the last one we're going to deal with today. Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent, by the way, an adder in the path that biteth the horse's heel so that his rider shall fall back. 
Dan shall judge his people as one of the tribes of Israel. Dan shall be a serpent by the way, an adder 